Hi, this is question number eight from the AQA call to January 2015 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to try the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video and try the question now. Okay, well done if you managed to have it a go. I'm now going to provide you a hint for this question for the second part. We're told that the point A lies on the curve with the equation y is equal to x to the power of a half. The tangent to this curve at A is parallel to the line 3y take away 2x is equal to 1. We want to find an equation of this tangent at A. Okay, because the tangent to this curve is parallel to this line here, we can use this line to work out what the gradient of that tangent is going to be. So if I rearrange this so that I can get it in the form y equals mx per c, that will tell me what the gradient of this line is. And because it's parallel to the tangent, then it's going to tell us what the gradient of that tangent is. We can then work out what the gradient function of, of this here is um, by differentiating. And we can then equate it to what we've worked out the, gra the actual gradient to be. Okay, that should get you started with this question. Um, so if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, for the next part of this question, I'm going to go over the full solution. Okay, so we start by taking this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out what the gradient um, is of this line here. So I've got 3y take away 2x is equal to 1. So I can rearrange that and say that 3y is going to be equal to 2x plus 1. Or y is equal to 2 thirds of x plus 1 third. So that tells me that my gradient here, my m value, I'll write that as my gradient, is going to be 2 thirds. So I now know what the gradient of this line is and therefore I know the gradient of the tangent to this curve. I know that it's going to be two thirds. Now my function here is y is equal to x to the power of a half. So I'm now going to write that down. I'm now going to work out what dy by dx is. Well to work out dy by dx I'm going to do a half Let's try that again. A half of x, and I need to subtract one from that. That's going to be negative a half. So um, I'm going to rewrite this as is equal to, and that's going to be one over root x. So it's going to be one over two root x okay so that's what dy by um, dx is going to be equal to okay but i know that at point a the um the value of this is going to be two thirds because it's parallel to this line over here at point a so that means i can say that one over two root x is in fact going to be equal to two thirds which means um, 3 is going to be equal to 4 root x. So um, root x is going to be equal to 3 quarters. And x is going to be equal to 9 sixteenths. OK. So now I know that x is equal to 9 16th, I can work out what my um, y coordinate is going to be. So I'll come over here now and I'll say that, draw a line here. Well, I know that y is equal to x to the power of a half. So I know x is 9 sixteenths, so that tells me that y is going to be equal to 9 sixteenths to the power of a half, which is the square root of 9 sixteenths. So therefore, y is going to be equal to 3 quarters.
headquarters. Okay, so what I've worked out so far is that at point A, the X coordinate is going to be 9 16 the Y coordinate is going to be 3 quarters, and the gradient of the tangent is going to be 2 thirds. So to find the equation, um, to find the equation of this tangent, um, that's going to be in the form y is equal to mx plus c. And I know I, I can now use this to work out what c is because I know y, I know m, and I know x. So three quarters is going to be equal to two thirds times x, which is 9 sixteenths, plus c. So 3 quarters is equal to, and that's going to be um, 8 and 3, so it's going to be 3 eighths plus c. So 6 eighths take away 3 eighths is going to be 3 eighths. That tells me that C is going to be equal to 3 eighths. So the equation of the tangent, well, I need to plug in my M and my C value into this. Um, so the equation is going to be Y is equal to M, which is 2 thirds, X plus C, which we worked out to be 3 eighths. Okay, um, and there you go, and that's my answer there. I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.